I got you a big dirty review right here. Hello fellow human peoples, it's the Big Dirty Nerd and I've got another review for you. This time I'm going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Infinite Series uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier from obviously the comic book uh, Captain America and from the movie The Winter Soldier. So the if you're not familiar with the character himself, it's um, Bucky Barnes who died back during World War II, uh, was resurrected. In the movie, he was resurrected by um, Hydra. Uh, in the comic book, he was re resurrected by Alexander Lukin, who was a Russian, and put to nefarious means. He was actually a assassin who worked through the Cold War, brought back, to, brought back basically out of deep freeze uh, every so, so often to basically move along political means, political uh, uh, agendas, and whatnot. Uh, in the movie, pretty much a similar storyline. Captain America runs into Bucky during a, uh, a fight they're having. Uh, the Winter Soldier is actually a well-known intelligence agent, uh, according to the Black Widow in the movie. And anyway, the figure came out, and of course I had to go get it, because if you're not uh, if you if you don't know by now, I'm a massive Captain America fan. Which is kind of funny given my stance on American American politics. But anyway, we're not going to get into that portion of my psyche right now. We're going to take a look at Captain America: The Winter Soldier uh, from Marvel Legends Infinite Series. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Okay, so let's take a look at the figure itself. It's actually not a bad sculpt. Uh, I'm not overly impressed with how loose the joints feel. Um, and it seems like a lot of the Marvel stuff that's coming out here lately... Uh, the joints are actually quite loose, uh, especially with the Marvel Legends and the Marvel um, Marvel Select figures. In fact, I've got I've got a Captain America Winter Soldier Captain America, uh, and the joints on it are absolutely ridiculous. In fact, the pose is is horrible for him. But anyway, let's let's take a look at the figure. Now, the figure is actually very detailed. You can see right here. You can see the a metallic arm, the bionic arm that Bucky uses uh, with the red Russian star which is very cool and the other arm you can see he's got an ammo, pel ammo pouch onto the arm um, some other weapons on there and he's got his traditional face mask right here you can see his traditional face mask neat thing about this one I'm going to take a look at this now in a second is he actually comes with a second head that you can pop off and you can uh, swap it out with no mask which is kinda neat uh, it's it's a fairly typical Marvel Legends figure you know it's got a fair amount of joint movage although it doesn't look like there's much going on there usually they've got a joint right here let me see if I can get that to move yeah it, again it's tight the joints are not the best on this very highly detailed figure very nice figure uh, overall um, you know you've got your belt here and you've got your tack vest up here and of course it all feels uh, it's made of a different type of plastic so it feels leathery rubbery whatever you want to call it um, nice detail nice sculpt the boots are very very nice oh look his foot moves oh that's actually the sculpt on his on his foot is very nice you did, I didn't even see the joint there so that's uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to stand up very well though. Um, double articulated joints for his knees, as you can see, gives it a more realistic range of motion, which is neat. Uh, you can see the legs are a little bit bow legged. I'm not keen. All right, let me see. You can't really see that from there. You, you, I'm not really keen on that, but you know what can you say? That's that's the way the figure is sculpted. Um, See if I can just fix this up here a little bit to get him to stand. I can put him up against the board there, I guess. Comes with this massive, 
massive rifle you can see it here it's almost as big as the figure itself boom um, you know I don't know why they've got it painted red though I mean for somebody who's supposed to be a top-notch assassin having a rifle that's red wouldn't make much sense very futuristic looking so that's kind of cool looks like you can probably punch a hole in a tank so we'll take a look at we'll put that on the figure now after now part of the infinite series uh, and I, I, unfortunately I'm not going to get the rest of the infinite series just to create this character uh, but it, it's a build a build a figure series and it comes with a mandroid um, it's actually the mandroid is actually going to be quite small when you when you take a look at you know most of these builder figures are quite large, but I guess the Mandroid, the Shield Mandroid, is not going to be that, not going to be that big. Okay, so we're we're going to completely ignore this. Whoop, gone. Whoop, whoop. Uh, let's take a look at the interchangeable head here. So I, I I've never actually had a figure that's had an interchangeable head before. So let's see if I can pop this off. I don't know if I want to, because it's. Let's see. Get this. Oh! Came right off. Okay. And pop on the other one. It's not going on very easily. I kind of like the the, the 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 masked one though, as opposed to this one. Uh, okay, there we go. It's on. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the mask one. I like the mask one much better. So, anyway, let's pop that head off. You know, let's get you to take a look at it first. So, there you go. That's what he looks like. Neener, neener. That's what he looks like with the... I'm not getting much of an autofocus going on here. That's what he looks like with the uh, unmasked head. Let's get that back off because, frankly, I don't like it. Uh, let's see. I'm getting this thing off. There we go. Okay. Put you back on there snap that's what I wanted to hear the first time was snap now if you're curious to see what he looked like because for a short time actually not for a short time for about three years in the comics uh, Bucky after he uh, was the Winter Soldier took over as the role of Captain for the role of Captain America for a little while and that's what this figure looks like now this is the Marvel select uh, Bucky cap um, I'm not going to go into this one because I plan on doing a review of all my Captain America figures and whatnot at some point in the near future. So anyway, here's here's what Bucky Cap looks like. Uh, came with a very nice stand and all that stuff. So anyway, move him off to the side again. Let's get back to Bucky Bucky, Winter Soldier. Now well, let's see how this giant ass rifle is going to fit. Holy Lord, what the dirty size of a weapon. I don't know that it is going to fit. Let's get that in there. Okay, it, it fits in there, but it's... Holy shit. Holy flaming shitballs. Maybe it's supposed to go in this other hand. I don't know. All I know is it's a, it's a big-ass gun. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not keen on it. I gotta tell you, it, uh... It's it's not it's not doing much for me that this big rifle, um, you know he he's got zero save so we got some movement in that arm that I might be able to work with. Uh, oh, there we go. So let's see now. Let's just huh huh almost broke the finger off him. That would not have been cool. Let's see if it'll fit in this one then. We had it in this one earlier. No. I really, 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 really don't like it when these toy companies do this. They give you a figure with a weapon that doesn't fit properly. And, okay. I'm not going to risk it any more than that. There you go. Bucky Burns, the Winter Soldier.